Hi, I'm Sherry, and today I'm going to talk about some of my experiences wearing a tailored spatial frame. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is because I believe the more information you have, the easier it is to make an informed decision. And I'm hoping that by sharing some of my experiences, it will help others who may be trying to decide if the tailored spatial frame is, is right for them. Now, for those people who are already wearing a frame, I hope that by sharing my experiences, it will help you make the best of a difficult situation. Now, just to give you a little bit of a background, in March of 2017, I had an accident which shattered my right tibia and left me with about 11 centimeters of bone missing from my leg. Now, after months of recovery and allowing the, the wounds and the tissues to heal, I chose to wear a tailored spatial frame. Now, originally, I was told I would wear the frame for about 15 months. Now, while I've been wearing the frame, I've had many challenges, some of which I've already discussed in my first video, so I don't want to repeat them. And um, but. They, they still continue to be, you know, challenges for me as the further I, I go into this process. Now, one question that I get asked quite often is if I've had to take any supplements for bone growth. And the answer to that is no. I haven't had to take any bone growth supplements. However, I have um, taken extra calcium and multivitamins. And, of course, I take my... Um, medications for to manage the pain. Now as far as pain management goes, um, the pain was definitely worse during the uh, adjustment period. Now that's not to say it was bad when when the frame was being adjusted, but later on in the day as that the bone would be growing, that's when the pain would become more substantial. Now for me, the adjustment period lasted for about seven months and honestly, some days were worse than, than others. But most days were manageable with, um, with pain medications. Now for me, the pain would change almost every day, every couple of days, it would be a different type of pain. And just when I thought I was getting used to it, the pain would change again. It would be in a new location. It would be a new intensity or um, a new type of pain. So, so this really was a challenge for me, getting used to, you know, a new type of pain, you know, every couple of days. And this was really mentally and, and physically exhausting. There were some days when I didn't want to take my medications. Um, honestly, I was, um, I was terrified that I would become addicted to the painkillers. Now, the painkillers are, are designed to help your body um, manage through a very challenging situation, so I don't recommend that you, you avoid taking your, your meds at all. Um, what I do recommend is that you talk to your doctor and, and find a balance where you're, you can live comfortably without too much pain and you don't feel like you're overly medicated. So it really is important to, to talk to your doctor to find the right balance of medications. Another challenge for me was keeping my leg elevated. Now it was really easy to, to rest my leg, but a lot more difficult to, to keep it elevated. And I found if I didn't elevate my leg, it would swell, it would be really uncomfortable, and it would really drain my energy. One of my biggest challenges was managing expectations. It seemed like everything um, takes longer than, than expected. Um, for example, I was expecting to be walking about two weeks after surgery, but due to the nature of my injury, the frame had to be placed very close to the ankle on a very narrow piece of bone. Now, um, the pins going through this narrow bone would get agitated every time I would move my ankle and thus making it really painful for me to walk. So my surgeon and I had a, a conversation and we decided that for the duration of being in the frame that I wouldn't walk on my leg to avoid, um, avoid the pain. 
Another example of managing expectations is when I was told I would have surgery in six weeks, often it would be more like 11 weeks. And this was really discouraging, so I had to learn to be patient and not stress over fluctuating timelines. Now, I should point out that due to the nature of my injury, I was unable to walk on my leg. Now, everyone has a different healing journey and your experience may be completely different. Now, because I was not so mobile, I had lost a lot of independence and I had to deal with short bouts of, of depression. And to resolve this, I would talk with family and friends. I contacted my employee assistance program I made sure that I was exercising and eating right and getting out of the house and spending time with family and friends and, and doing some of the things that I enjoy doing even though my mobility was limited. One of my challenges was that people are really curious and every time I go, go out of the house, people stop and ask me questions and they're, they're just really curious about the frame. So I really try to answer the questions as best I can. I feel like I've become a bit of an, an, an ambassador for the Taylor Spatial Frame. I, I feel I want to share the information about the frame and the capability of the human body. And if people are curious enough to ask questions, then I will give them as much time as I can to, and to answer and, and provide the information that they're seeking. Uh, one of the things when I stop and talk with people is they usually want to share their own stories and talk about their, their own injuries or the injuries of someone they know. And I really do try to listen patiently to them because I know it's important for them to share their story. My friends and family have also learned to be patient because it takes me longer when I stop and, and talk to people along the street that my friends just... You know, they have to wait and they, they've become so patient and they, they've been so amazing through this journey. One of my um, concerns wearing the frame was avoiding infection. So I made sure that I would keep the, flame, the, the frame clean and I would keep it covered. And this not only helped to minimize the risk of infection, but it was also being respectful of those people who didn't quite have the stomach to, to see the pins and screws going through the skin and the bone. Now, as far as bathing, I was not able to take baths, uh, but I was able to take showers. And I just had to make sure that the shampoo and the soap uh, did not run down my leg and into my pin sites. Now, because my frame was covered most of the time, the water from my shower would rinse off the frame and that would be enough to keep it clean. Now, I had additional aches and pains and because I was on crutches so long, I had neck and shoulder issues, I had back issues, I had wrist issues, and I would even get blisters on the palms of my hands. And um, the blisters would be so bad that sometimes I couldn't even walk because my hands were so sore and I had to use crutches. So I started using padded gloves. Uh, immediately after having the frame installed, I asked to start physio so that I could deal with the aches and pains and maintain my level of fitness, knowing that this was going to be a long haul for me. And while I was at home, I would do chair fitness programs, I would do chair cardio, and I started walking on an indoor track in the winter. I even registered for a yoga class for people recovering from injuries. Now, one of my favorite things about wearing the Taylor Spatial Frame was getting x-rays. I love seeing how my bone was growing and changing every few weeks. And I really love knowing that my body is healing itself and repairing itself naturally with the help of the frame. Now, people have been so amazing and kind to me. Everywhere I go, people stop to open doors for me and offer chairs for me. They, um, they pick things up that I've dropped or they just offer their assistance. It really has been amazing. And I am so grateful for all the kindness that people have shown me. 
It really is important to have a good support system. It's not an easy process to go through and having family and friends to help you will make all the difference in your recovery journey. And you know, it's important to remember those people who are acting as your caregivers. This is a difficult time for them as well. You know, it's important to be patient with them and be kind um, and just make sure that they also have a good support system and that they have a break from being a caregiver because it really is a, a daunting and, and difficult task for them as well. And most importantly, just show your appreciation for everybody who is helping you. Now, accessibility was also a challenge. Um, because I still rely on my crutches, my mobility is limited, and I've had to become more resourceful and more patient. And not all places are accessible, even though they may have um, sign, signs in their window indicating that they are um, ac um, accessible to people with mobility issues. This isn't always the case, so you know you just have to learn to be patient with, with these, um, these facilities. Now, just because you wear a tailored spatial frame does not mean that your mobility will be limited. In my case, my lack of mobility was due to my injury and not the tailored spatial frame. I've often been asked if, given the choice, would I go through this process again? And the answer is absolutely yes. Knowing that my body has healed itself naturally and with the help of the tailored spatial frame, this has been really important to me. And hopefully at the end of all of this, I won't have any hardware inside of my leg. And I just want to say that not everyone has the same experience. Everyone's healing journey is different and unique, and yours will be whatever you choose to make of it. Now, if you're looking for more information about the, uh, what it's like to wear a tailored spatial frame, you might want to check out some of my other videos where I share some of my experiences on uh, cleaning the pin sites, making adjustments to the frame, the covers and clothing I've had made, and just some of the initial challenges when I first had the frame put on. I do plan to do one more video um, sharing my experience with the removal of the frame. I really hope that um, by sharing my experience that I've been able to help you make a more informed decision about the Taylor Spatial Frame. I want to say thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.